In just hours from now, Chinese President Xi Jinping takes off on a rare visit to the Middle East. The first stop of his three-nation tour, Saudi Arabia, where he'll be hosted by King Salman. Ahead of the visit, a Saudi newspaper published an article by President Xi. This is what he writes. As a Chinese saying goes, devoted friends afar are not kept apart by distance. The growing friendship and cooperation are bringing our two peoples closer than ever before. He goes on to say, there is so much inspiration we can draw from the flourishing ties between China and Saudi Arabia. Mutual respect, mutual trust and equality are the solid foundation of the sound and steady growth of the bilateral relationship. After Saudi Arabia, President Xi travels to Egypt and then he's off to Iran. This, by the way, is his first visit to the region as president. His predecessor visited Saudi Arabia back in 2009, and no Chinese president has visited Egypt or Iran in more than a decade. President Xi's trip to the Middle East will be a delicate balancing act. While tensions between Saudi Arabia and Iran remain high, relationships for both countries are important to China's interests. Egypt is also a crucial focal point of Chinese diplomacy in the Arab world, and the president's visit there could result in some economic gains. CCTV's Yasser Hakim joins us from Cairo. Yasser, what's the tone there for President Xi's visit this week? Well, there's a lot of excitement. Um, it's been a long-awaited uh, visit. Uh, last time was 12 years ago, uh, last visit by Chinese president to Egypt. He was supposed to come uh, last uh, September, but, but it was uh, postponed uh, till this week. Uh, he will be addressing the Arab League uh, on a Thursday, uh, and a very important speech to the Arab world through the Arab League headquarters here in Cairo. Um, the, the, you know the tensions in the Arab region in the last few years, uh, and uh, China, uh, an emerging power, uh, will obviously have uh, a say in the ongoing and the political uh, and diplomatic ties in the region. Just uh, meeting Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Iran amidst the Saudi-Iranian uh, conflict also proved that uh, China is trying to mediate a role between its three uh, allies. Um, at, the, at the same time, uh, Egypt will be uh, talking uh, anti-terrorism, as we understand from the Egyptian president. The file uh, will uh, be the agenda. Will also discuss uh, how. A means to cooperate for anti-terrorism in the region. Terrorism, clearly a big thing on the agenda. What about the economic impact of President Xi's visit to Egypt? It's very important for Egypt that's trying to rebuild itself after five years of turmoil, two, uh, two uh, unrests uh, and revolutions, so uh, and, and three presidents in four years. Uh, there's a $1 billion loan to Egypt uh, will be signed by China, by the Chinese president when he is in Cairo. This will go for the foreign reserves that had hit a long time low of $16 billion. There are agreements in energy, uh, 4,000 megawatt electricity, uh, 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 4,000 uh, watt electricity coal uh, generators. You've got railway, you've got real estate, the new uh, Suez Canal project, and as well as uh, work together in infrastructure projects and the uh, new uh, capital where uh, China will be constructing 15,000 units and uh, major uh, infrastructure projects and electricity projects in the new capital, as well as transportation and uh, the main conference hall in the new city. So there's a lot to talk about in, in the economic side. And 35 new contracts will be signed between Egypt and China to promote foreign uh, Chinese investments in Egypt during the Chinese president's visit this week. 